Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1 and today I'm about to show you a scene that I made entirely using AI. This AI is a text to 3D generator, an image to 3D generator and also a text sharing AI. You can generate models from a text prompt from an image and you can also generate textures for any 3D model using this AI. Yeah, so I'm going to dive into a time lapse showing you how I created this scene. Just before we get in, as I was about to upload this video, a new version of Meshi AI was released, which is Meshi version 4. Just literally 30 minutes ago, I was just going back to generate another model and then I saw this update. So this is basically improvement to the previous model and uh, it makes handling hard edges I like what you see here. You can see how it handles the sharp edges way better even the texturing looks better the meshes themselves are more detailed and it's more accurate than three but if you want to use the old version you still have the option to go back to that so you can see you have mesh three which is what we were using before so back to the video i started with a column i generated that using a text prompt i needed a knight so i used this prompt a knight in full armor realistic medieval they also have uh, this prompt library that you can just click and open if you are running out of ideas you can also use an image to enhance your prompt or search through the different models they have to see what prompts they used after that you can select the art style here i'm going to just select realistic and hit generate so that it can start generating the 3D model. It first generates some previews that are low poly and are low resolution. Gives you about four examples of your prompt. You can choose what you want to refine. Mesh AI uses a credit system. You use about five credits to generate a model and five credits to refine it. So after you generate the model and get the previews, you press refine for the version you like and that will give you a higher resolution, more detailed a model what you have and after it's done you just click on the preview to look at what you have generated and just look at that detail i think everything worked out very nicely the materials the textures the character itself the model itself just looks perfect for me the models you generate are private but you can share them to get back some of the points for example if i chose to share this model i will earn back about 50 credits and remember, it only costed me five credits to generate this, plus another five to refine it. So if I share it, I can get back all those credits and more. And if you want to use this model in Blender, you can just click on the download button. You can see all the formats that are available, including a blend file. But here, I prefer the GLB format because when I download it, I can just drag it directly into Blender. The blend file will just open up a new blend file. Uh, but here, I can just drag and paste into my project which is faster okay so we we still have a lot of assets to generate so let's jump back to mesh ai and create a few more you can also go to the discovery page to check out what others have created and you can even just use the models available there so i know i need to create a template like structure so i'm just going to look for something medieval and uh, just try using that from the explorer page and bring it back into blender now I can duplicate this a few times to turn this into an actual temple. Set up some lighting and use Blender for what is best at and also leverage the power of Mesh AI to populate my scene with the unique assets that I generated myself or that the community has generated. I also wanted a medieval cauldron, uh, like a fire container to contain the fire in the scene this really make the scene look more great so uh, instead of modeling it again i use mesh ai for that so i just went in uh, to the text to 3d prompt and typed in medieval fire cauldron uh, the first one that is generated had shorter legs than i wanted so i went in and uh, changed that to long legs and added in long legs and uh, regenerated and it gave me something that had longer legs then i refined and imported into blender I wanted to have some animated characters so you can go back to Mesh AI, back to your projects. You can scroll down to see what you have done before and I'm just going to scroll back to the night so that we can add some character animation. Now Mesh AI also has a, a feature to rig and animate your characters. You can find this running button that will give you the option to rig your character. You can choose whether you want to animate a humanoid or a quadruped 
and then click next. The next page is just to line up the character to match the line of symmetry because we're going to use symmetry when rigging the character. You just have to move the dots to match the example they give you and after you're done you can click next and then Meshu AI will start rigging the character and give you a running and walking example. Then you can download that and import in Blender. So you can see their rigging feature, kind of similar to Mixamo. So that means that you can generate the characters here and rig them here or rig them with Mixamo and get access to all, the, all of the animations they have uh, there in, into your project. So it really, really simplifies working as a 3D artist. Let's go over some of the other features that Meshi AI has. Uh, if you go to the main page, you can see that uh, all the, the AI toolkits are available here. You have text to 3D, which we have already looked at. Image to 3D, if you go to that, uh, you get a space to drag in your image. So I'm just going to select an image uh, like this treasure chest. You can change the mode. So if you're using a hard surface model or an organic model, you can change the mode here. Uh, this is a hard surface, so I'm just going to use that and uh, press generate. But before you do that, you can even check out the guide uh, to see the documentation and uh, to see what, what are the recommended inputs and uh, recommended prompts uh, that you can use uh, there. Now, but uh, let's click generate to see how this looks and look at that. So you can see that this is capable of even creating sterilized models uh, like this treasure chest with textures that look like hand painted textures. I just love the amount of detail on this one. Now, if you look at the wire mesh, you can see that it's triangulated, but you also have the option to, to use only quads. So I'll just apply to get quads. Yes, look at that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Only quads and it has maintained the detail. Yeah, so if you're working on a project and you need a lizard, if you're working on a project and you need a robot, Mesh AI can be your personal 3D artist that can create models instantly and very quickly. Just detail. Yeah, so if you want to check this out, all links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.